A legal battle heating up over homeschooling, and it could decide whether teaching your children at home is a fundamental American right. One family granted asylum in the U.S. after facing prosecution in Germany for homeschooling their kids could now be forced to leave this country, and their case could affect every American family which chooses homeschooling. Douglas Kennedy with the story. In 2008, Uva Romaika fled Germany after facing imprisonment and the forcible removal of his children. Your crime was that you wanted to homeschool your kids. Yeah, we wanted to homeschool our kids in Germany, and it's illegal there. I multiply six by four. At first, the United States granted Uva and his family political asylum, but then the Justice Department stepped in asserting that the practice of parents educating their children could not be used as a basis to seek citizenship and attempted to send them all back to Germany. Mike Farris is from the leading homeschool advocacy group in the country and is helping Uva fight his deportation in court. Homeschoolers in the United States are worried that the views that this administration is taking toward their Mikeys will come back to um, undermine their liberty as well. And they may have reason to worry. The Justice Department is now arguing that homeschooling is not a protected right and that homeschool parents are not a protected group. A position Farris calls troubling both in Germany and the U.S. When the government thinks that it knows better how to raise children or how to treat children than the parent, it's a very, very dangerous thing. Not so, says Justice Department supporters who maintain it's silly to consider homeschooling a basic human right. It's a public policy question. Not having homeschooling is not being persecuted. Asylum is about persecution. I certainly think it's uh, persecution when the government tries to take away your children from you. Which he says is exactly what will happen if he is sent back to Germany. In Morristown, Tennessee, Douglas Kennedy, Fox News. Oh, I'm reading your tweets on this on my Twitter page, and Kenneth Morrow wants to know why the Justice Department is involved. Um, Douglas Kennedy was explaining that. A lot of you have a lot of interest in that story. We'll stay on it.